Hi there and welcome. Today I'm taking a look at some of these enclosures that I found on eBay. We get to my aluminium boxes and the first one is this one here. And uh, this is what they call a, a stomp box. This one has part number 1590A. And uh, this is the absolute minimum size I think is useful. Uh, this one here is about... Um, yeah, how big is it? Hang on. They must write that somewhere. Let me just Google it. Okay, this one is a 92 by 38 by a 31 millimeter, and um, basically you use stump boxes like this for RF design uh, because uh, because of the lip down here and because of the whole thing is in aluminium. Once you screw the lid on here, uh, it's basically RF tight. The, the finish is uh, not very good on these, but uh, they are good for RF stuff. Like for your test lab or something, if you have a sine wave, a 10 megahertz generator in here, you have a mixer or whatever. Uh, they are actually quite good. And uh, I have seen these being used for like um, sub-assembly sub-modules. Like you can have a mixer in one box, you can have an oscillator in one box, you can have a VCO in a different box. You can have some uh, RF amplifier in a different box. And uh, then when you want to prototype something, you can just screw these boxes together. Uh, together with some um, SMA connectors So you might just uh, use uh, have some SMA T's or whatever SMA cables and uh, just wire the whole thing up and prototype it first before you actually build anything So for that kind of use, I think they're pretty good um, The next box I have is uh, another stomp box and uh, These are better size for what I uh, use them for and um, this one is called, yeah, sorry, I have to Google that. This one is called the 1590B. So actually, they're the same part number as this one, except uh, the size. Uh, so this one is called the 1590B, the other one was 1590A. And again, for RF stuff, these are really good. And again, there are no mounting studs inside the aluminium. And again, they haven't really bothered cleaning up the inside. So you can see they have been uh, polished on the outside, they look pretty decent, uh, but the inside they are really filthy. But uh, okay, they are about three pounds each, and uh, I find that a little bit expensive, but I mean if you compare it to uh, the big Canadian supplier of stump boxes, uh, they are pretty okay. So yeah, I bought quite a few of these uh, for my RF work. Okay. Then the next one I have is this one here. I bought a few of these. <coughs> this is uh, black extruded aluminium, uh, anodized black. And it's basically two halves, a top and a bottom that are identical. And then you uh, close it up with those uh, end pieces here. And uh, I'm not gonna remove this one here right now, uh, the end piece to show you how it splits because I have another box in a few seconds that are practically identical. Um, but I like these boxes a lot and um, they are not expensive. This one is £2.40 and uh, there are some guides here so you can actually, if you have a PCB of the correct size, you can just slide it in here and, uh, and then when you mount the, the, the top and bottom piece here or the end pieces here, uh, that will actually hold the PCB in place. So uh, this one takes care of everything in one nice little box. Um, this one here by the way is called an aluminium PCB instrument box enclosure. And it's 80 by uh, 50 by 20 millimeter. And uh, yeah, uh, this is not RF tight as uh, the stump box is. But apart from that, it can be used for most electronics. And uh, it looks really, uh, it looks really cool. And uh, this one is the next one. And this is called, let me see. This is called an aluminium PCB instrument box again, but the dimensions are 100 by 99.6 by 43.8 millimeter. And this is a raw extruded aluminium. And um, it's quite nice, but the front panel has uh, got some dings here. And uh, the back is exactly the same. It's got some dings. And uh, I think it happened during shipping. Uh, but I think you need to take care of that or you need to be aware of that when you order it that you could be able You could get it in uh, looking quite bad condition But okay, you might also just uh, send a message to the supplier before he ship it to make sure he wrap it nicely around the corners because they get dinged quite easily 
And this one opens like this, there are two halves which are basically identical that just fits together like that and then with screws here uh, you mount the whole thing together. And um, I have a project coming up uh, for a little uh, power, um, power amplifier uh, where I want to use this box here. And uh, there's just enough room inside for a toroid transformer and uh, a PCB with the power transistors and uh, what have you. And a couple of electrolytic capacitors for the power supply. So uh, I will be making a, a, a 40 watts power amplifier, I think, or is it 20? Maybe 20 watts, uh, 20 watts stereo power amplifier where I will be using this box. Uh, so that is a video that is uh, coming up. But uh, yeah, a really nice box, I think. It looks good. You can keep it on your desk. And uh, because it's aluminium, uh, you may not uh, need a heat sink. You can just bolt the power transistors directly to the enclosure here. And uh, then you might get away with it. Particularly if you put a couple of uh, rubber feet underneath so that we have some airflow. So uh, yeah, I like this box, uh, but be careful with the shipping. Uh, this, those that I received, I think I bought three of these, and they are all somehow dinged in the corners uh, for some reason. Uh, but anyway, a really nice box that uh, I will be using in the future projects. Then I have another one here, and uh, this is basically the same construction as the as the other one that I just showed. And this one is also called an aluminium PCB instrument box. And uh, this one is 100 by 76 by 35 millimeter. And uh, you can just Google that, you can find these boxes, uh, a lot of them uh, everywhere. Now this box is uh, basically identical to this aluminium one, but the surface uh, texture and the finishing on this box is much, much better than the white one. I really really like this box, it's really really beautiful and it uh, has a nice finish, it has a ruffle surface, it's extruded, it has some nice patterns here and uh, black screws and it's really really a lovely 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 box. Of course this is aluminium so when you drill a hole you will have a white uh, surround or you will be able to look in, at, the, at the edge of the material and that will be aluminium. Uh, that being said the whole thing is uh, anodized black and uh, there is no electrical contact between the top and bottom and between the top and the front and the back pieces here. So um, you will just have to be aware of that if you want to design something that is RF tight. Uh, this is not RF tight unless you sand down the, 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 the surfaces where they meet or do something like that. Um, but otherwise, this is, uh, of all the metal enclosures that I bought on YouTube, this is my favorite. And I'm definitely going to order a few more of these. Uh, unfortunately, the price has gone up a bit. I think I paid uh, £10 for three, <clears throat> but now they are £12 for three. Uh, and that happened over the last month or so. But this box is really, really beautiful. If you need something about that size, about 10 by 10 by 8 centimeter. It's really really beautiful box. I think this is the best one uh, of the boxes. The most, the prettiest one I should say. This is the prettiest box of those that I have uh, ordered and uh, that I'm showing here today. May not be the most practical one. I don't know. That depends on your application. But I, it's a really really beautiful box and uh, I will order more of these. And uh, finally, oops, I have this one here, which is a little bevel here on uh, both uh, corners. And um, this is just in one piece, you cannot separate it here, uh, top and bottom, this is just extruded in one piece. Uh, but it's also a very nice box. I guess you can use this as a handheld device, but yeah. Um, but I think it looks good mounted on the wall, for instance, if you mount it like this. Um, you can have some cables coming out at the back. Uh, maybe for some antenna amplifier or something like this. Uh, but again, everything is anodized black completely, so there's no electrical contact around here. So you will not get an RF tight box unless you sand off the anodization here on the both ends. But yeah, I like this box as well. Uh, I have no particular use for it right now, uh, but it's a beautiful box. So uh, yeah, maybe I just like black, I don't know, but uh, that was uh, I like this box as well. But anyway, that was a quick rundown of uh, the most common boxes available um, on eBay. 
and I hope you learned something today in this video. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and see you again real soon.